Greetings, everyone. I'm Dr. Stephanie D. Burroughs, president of Stephanie Speaking. It's a pleasure to see you all once again, to come to you and share some information on punctuality, preparation, and professional. I just got off of doing a podcast, interview for a podcast with Kurt Mortensen for Maximize Your Influence. It's all about that art of persuasion and influence and so forth. So today, I was on to speak about networking. Y'all know, you hear me talking about it all the time. I can go on about it. That's what my book, Dating You a Business Prospect, is all about. No, by the way, it's not only in book form, but it's also in audio form too. So you can go to my um, online booking page, or I'm sorry, not booking page, but the uh, sales page, you'll see it on there, where you can purchase products. But the bottom line is this. I just, I was really excited about this because I checked them out, looked them up and everything. And I was like, wow, why do they want me on their show? So anyway. I was so punctual. <laughs> I was three hours early. Look, I had got myself all together, ready, set, go. Sitting at the computer, I thought it was for 10 a.m. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking at the clock. And I was just about to send an email to the young lady who had contacted me originally on Kurt's behalf when something said, go look at the calendar again. Lo and behold, it wasn't until 1 p.m. So thank God I stopped to look at the calendar. I don't know why I was fixated on 10. Maybe because there was a one in the 10. <laughs> Do you know what it's like when you can look at something, it's right in front of your face, and you still don't get it right? Well, anyway, I was super punctual. So I made sure for my one o'clock, I was here sitting in front of my um, camera. I'm, I'm sorry, uh, on ready for Skype at... Uh, 10 minutes to one. Actually, it was more like quarter to one. So I really want to be, I'm practicing, folks. I'm learning to be consistent. It's something that I've been working on for quite some time. This is not something that just happens overnight. So if you have a habit of not being punctual, understand that when you focus on doing so, it will take time. Sometimes you got to be an hour earlier, if need be, just so you're not stressing out. Because you never know what's going to happen once you're in traffic or something should ha untoward should happen on your way, not to you, but on the road. Or to if you're taking public transportation, goodness gracious, don't I know about that. <laughs> uh, took Amtrak train to uh, Maryland back in April and ended up in a train derailment. So it was like, what, eight, nine hours later before I arrived at my destination. But guess what? I left the day before. So I would be what would be on time without a shadow of a doubt. So that, you know, talk about punctuality. I'm really, really focused on that, working on that. Do I mess up? Yeah, but I mess up where I know it's not going to have that great an impact. But when you know it's something that's going to have an impact, you don't want to get there right on time and not be calm, cool, collected, time to think about what you're going to say or what you're going to do. Then you need that time and perhaps even have a moment to speak to some other people wherever you are in that organization, if it's at an organization, and get an idea, learn some information that you may be able to use in your conversation. One never knows. Do one. <laughs> I just encourage you to work on being punctual for anything that you're attending, especially your meetings, your sales meetings, or your um, networking meetings, your matchmaker meeting. Oh, please, for the matchmakers. You know what this dating your business prospect is about? If you look at the bottom and you get a chance when you purchase this, make sure you read the subtitle. So even though this is all you can use this for any type of networking, I stressed matchmaker meetings, practical strategies for successful business matchmaker meetings. Now, I can tell you, I know of people who have come late way too often and it has totally disrupted the flow because everything has been scheduled. And it leaves a bad taste in people's mouths. If you're going to go meet with someone and you get there late, depending on how late you are, someone else might be in that seat taking your space, taking up your time because you were late getting there. And it doesn't leave a good impression. I just encourage you when you go into a matchmaker meeting or say you're going to one of the federal government's industry days, if you have made an appointment for a certain time, get there well in advance. Punctuality doesn't mean when you, you walk in at the moment. No, you want to get there in advance so that you have time to prepare yourself and to be ready to give your best when you sit in front of that person. If you're walking into a networking event, there's a lot going on and, you know, 
sometimes if people really know who you are, they're looking for you. They want to know where are you and what took you so long to get there. You know, that's the one thing you don't want to walk into a room to and somebody's like calling your name out. I've been looking for you. Where have you been? Oh gosh, please. No. And then they calling your name out and everything. So no, you don't want that to happen. And I'm speaking from experience. <laughs> Anyway, I talked about punctuality, preparation. Just be prepared, you know, take time out well in advance before you go to anything. And reminding you, I talk about all of this in dating your business prospect, but you want to be prepared in advance. You want to be prepared mentally, emotionally, physically, you know, your appearance, you've thought out in advance what you're going to do. You've done your homework. You already have an idea of who's going to be there. If you signed up for matchmakers, you signed up for specific times with specific organization. So you should have looked them up. You should have gotten information on them and even try to find information if you can through social media, online, somewhere, Google them, Google them for the person you're going to actually meet with and speak with if you have that person's name. And in many cases, you will. Everybody pulls their matchmakers together differently. So it's not the same across the board. But if you have the opportunity to have that information, do the homework and look them up and research them. And this way you'll have something to say that it's a little bit more personal if you can weave that into the conversation and you should be able to, because there are times when you have the opportunity to just speak to them one-on-one -on -one as people and have a good time. You know, I had someone uh, um, that I, I was moderating a, a, a matchmaker, a major matchmaker for, for another organization. And I brought someone, well, someone came to me and said, Stephanie, I really want to meet with that person. So and so and so. I said, okay hang around. When I see that they don't have anybody at their table and the person who is supposed to be there hasn't come after five minutes, give them five minutes, then I'll bring you over. Well, that happened. It happened. He hung out. He was cool. He was chill. And when he got finished, he came over to me and just thanked me profusely. He said, we had the greatest conversation. Did you hear that? Conversation. They're people. Don't be stilted and, you know, come prepared, already knowledgeable. That helps you to be much more comfortable because they had so many similarities in terms of their wives. It's, I mean, they, they went there, you know, in terms of schools. It's, I mean, there were at least four different things on a personal level that they related on. And then they got the business piece in too, but it was so much easier because they'd already related on a personal level. Now, I'm not going to say that's going to happen with you for everybody. No, probably not. But maybe on a much, not, not as heavily as it did for them. He was just so excited. He says, we're going to be following up, blah, 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 blah. I gave him some examples and samples of what we could do, blah, blah, blah. He was so excited. I was excited for him. So preparation, just be prepared. There's so many different things to be prepared with, but that's all in the book. And then there's the professional. So I was looking for the, you know, the word expert came to my mind and I, I decided to go to the thesaurus and check it out and professional because that came to my mind also. And I said, how can I use that? It does. Expert, professional, professional, expert. So yes, be an expert in what you're talking about to them. Be an expert in your industry, uh, in your piece. I mean, that doesn't mean you're going to know everything. I will tell you up front, I've been working with business owners for over 35 years on government contracting and even corporate contracting early on. Um, and still do help them in some cases with that. But for the most part, my niche is on the government side, helping people navigate that process and, you know, transform their confusion into clarity. However, hmm, be able to convey your knowledge of your industry. I, I, on Kurt's uh, podcast interview today, and I'll, I'll let you know when that podcast is live, uh, he'll be sending me links that I can share. One of the things that I shared was, there was someone at an ex at a matchmaker once and they were asked a question about their in, and it was an industry question but they were not up to speed because it was something new but they weren't up to speed and perhaps they should have been yeah they should have been they don't they may not know this but it didn't bode well for them with that individual who was the table host and i know because i asking people or actually i was surveying the table hosts afterwards so, I just wanted to share that with you because if you are punctual, you will be in great form. And not only that, but you get a chance to network with other people prior to your appointed time for your matchmakers. Or when you get there early, sometimes you 
that's the best time to get to that person that you really wanted to speak to that so did everybody else. And you may not have had an opportunity had you waited until later. So being punctual, it sets a, a tone. Um, people recognize that. They pay, they pay attention to that. It says how you're operating in your business. It says whether or not you're going to be on time when you're doing some, you, you know, on a contract with someone. Um, are your staff going to be on time? Are you going to have a an eye and an ear and 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 um, the mindset for your business and anyone representing your business being on time? And they're following you because you're the leader. Punctuality counts. Preparation. But for one, the one thing I really want to get across to you is whoever you're planning to meet with and make sure you're intentional about who you're going to meet with and speak to, that you've done the homework in advance. And then professional. Be professional, of course. Look professional. Yes. Do not come. And I love my contractors. Yes. Because, you know, I spent a lot of time in the field with contractors on construction sites back in the day. But don't come to a networking event looking like you just came out of the field. <laughs> and um, make sure that you are an expert in what you do. You may not be an expert in everything because that's not going to happen in your industry. But in what you do, your piece, your niche. Okay. So God bless each and every one of you. I just wanted to share that all with you. I know I went a little long on this, but I, I did want to get that information out to you. Have a blessed day.